Hi, I'm Frank Pettiflu, and I want to stress to you the importance of a good ultrasonic drying process. For many ultrasonic cleaning applications, a standard flash dry will usually suffice. But if the parts are more intricate, or if a quicker drying method is required, then additional drying equipment may be necessary. Industrial drying applications can be done in four ways. In an oven, a centrifugal dryer, a recirculating dryer, or in a tunnel dryer. So what's the difference? Ovens use extreme heat, but very little airflow. In essence, the parts are baked dry. One thing to note with oven dryers is more heating energy is required than with other drying methods. Centrifugal dryers spin the parts in a rotary basket while applying some degree of heat. These dryers are typically inexpensive, but are limited to parts that can be thrown around aggressively, like the old tilt-a-whirl ride at the county fair. Recirculating hot air dryers have a more widespread use and are usually tub-style dryers with parts baskets being placed into a chamber. High volume air is pushed through heating elements and the hot air is recirculated to dry parts in six minutes or less. Tunnel dryers are making an entrance into the drying arena and utilize a combination of the recirculating chamber and the assembly line oven concept, but without the extreme heat or energy consumption. Parts baskets are loaded into the front of the dryer and then exit from the unload conveyor through a guillotine door. Still not sure which ultrasonic drying solution is right for you? Speak with one of our ultrasonic consultants today or visit our website at omegasonics.com. You can also connect with us on Facebook and Twitter.